I saw cops murder somebody this morning. This isn't what it looks like. What the hell did you do? She had a body cam on! <gasps> but we got a ghost! She's gone! Find her! The police. Naomi, first, since the last time we've interviewed, I've had a daughter, and her name is Naomi, so that's... No way! Yeah. Off to me, right? <laughs> <laughs> After you and my favorite aunt. But, but uh, my first question to you is, I mean, just being a, a Brit, I know that Brits, black Brits are 3% of the population, but yet they, they receive 12% of police brutality reported cases. Mm -hmm. what, what is the sense of police brutality there as opposed to here? I mean, do you... Do you think it's the same? Well, we have, uh, you know, the whole Black Lives Matter movement in the UK. We have um, incredibly high profile cases that have happened. Um, there have been a lot of um, black deaths in police custody, but there has not been a single arrest of mm -hmm. any police officer, despite all of those deaths. Yeah. Um, so we're grappling with the same issues that, that are dealt with in this movie and that African Americans are dealing with. Um, and, you know, we are united in yeah. that, that respect, absolutely. What was, what was it about this script? Because, I mean, Dion uh, alluded to you maybe, may have stopped acting mm -hmm. or something like that. What was it about this story that, that really compelled you to, to really jump into it? So I um, took a break from acting because I've been doing it since I was nine years old. So um, it's a long time now, it's like 33, 34 years. And, uh, and uh, I told my team, like, don't contact me for a year. I just need time out. And then eight months in, they, they sent me black and blue. And they were like, we know that you didn't want us to contact you, but we really think this is the movie. And I read it, and I was just like, this is exactly the kind of movie that I've always waited for my entire career because you know it's a thrilling roller coaster ride it has on, you on the edge of your seat uh, but it also is socially relevant mm -hmm. and incredibly timely and also is inspiring as well and then as the lead you know playing the lead role and being an african-american female cop and knowing that that is the first time in history that that has been done yeah. in a movie so yeah. for all of those reasons i had to say yes <laughs> I've been shot. What? You can't be in here with this. The police, they'll help you. It was the cops that shot me. The opening scene has you having this bad interaction with a fellow officer. I wonder, have you had any interactions with the police that have went awry? I have never had an interaction with the police that's gone awry. You know, my only experiences with the police have been really positive in the UK. Um, but that is, as Tyrese always says, that they're like, that is not that's not really the point, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, the yeah. point is that so many people have had those experiences and we not only have we just heard about them, we've seen videos documenting them. Right. So we know that it happens and that should not be the case. And everybody who cares about being part of a fair and just society should care about that yeah. and do something about that and be active in campaigning against that. One of the, one of the themes, sub, subplots of this is uh, the relationship between you and the Fessa's character mm -hmm. and you being a cop, you not being black enough because you're blue or mm -hmm. whatever. And, and, and there's also been this conversation with Cynthia Revo and other mm -hmm. uh, black Brit actors that mm -hmm. where a, a lot of people in America have accused them of not being black enough. How, mm -hmm. how do you like deal with this where we're all, we're all the same? Mm -hmm. you know, um, how do you deal with that? So I think it's incredibly sad. Yeah. Um, but I take very seriously like the grievances of the African-American community, those who voice those opinions against us black British actors. Um, but I think it's really sad that it's sort of engendered this kind of infighting between us since yeah. we are all black. Yeah. Because I think the real culprit is the industry that is not generating enough roles for black people in general. Yeah. And uh, that's where the attention and the anger and the animosity should be directed. And the energy, actually, I should say, not even the anger, you know, should be a positive energy that's directed towards changing the industry. Because it's so interesting when um, iconic white roles are given to British actors, nobody says anything at all. Yeah. It's only when it's given to black British actors that people have a problem. Why? Because it's about the scarcity of roles. Yeah. Um, and that's the real issue, and that's what the dialogue should be around. We should not be fighting each other. I agree, and uh, I loved you in this role. I loved uh, all the subplots, and uh, I like 
you and Dion, and I like you and Tyrese as I a, love us as, as well. Like, I, I, I really would like to wanna, see you on more films. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I definitely work with them anytime, any place, anywhere. Thanks for another great performance. Thank keep on you. doing your thing. I'll keep on watching. Thank you. <laughs>